Hey guys, this is video 2 of the homemade flywheel series. This time we're cutting on the drawbar that runs through the center of the reel. If you haven't seen video 1 yet, you can find it on my channel, JH Reels. The drawbar is more or less just a fancy stainless steel screw, but with a few custom features, like the ledge for the top spool bearing to ride on, and a flat surface to prevent it from spinning when the drag knob is turned. The drawbar will be cut from this piece of 1 inch stainless steel round bar. It's a little bigger than what we need, but it's what I had laying on the shelf. For most of the operations in this video, we'll be using this 3 8 inch indexable cutting tool with a carbide cutter. Here on the first pass, it looks like I screwed up to focus on the camera. So we're just going to skip forward to something you can actually see. I promise you're not missing much. I'm going to keep cutting this down all the way to 200 thousandths of an inch. The next task here is to face off the bottom of the head. This will be the finished pass along the length of the shank. That looks close enough for me. Next we face off the ledge that defines the bearing support. And this is what we've got so far. This next series of passes will define the outside diameter of the head. Prepare the end of the shaft for the threads, we're going to turn that section down to 188 thousandths. We'll be using the cutoff tool to provide a thread relief for the die to come up on.
little bit of thousand grit to improve the surface finish. Here we clean up the end of the threads with a 45 degree chamfer. With the part rechuck the other way around, we can face off the other side of the head. To chamfer the top of the head, we'll set the compound angle to 45 degrees. The final operation on this part is to cut the flat side in the threaded portion. And that's the finished part. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel.